Hello my beautiful friends, Tara here with the Style Signature and yet again I'm in my mobile office. Um, it's funny, I think you guys always catch me, um, gosh, just getting done with the gym or something like that. So I seem to not always, not ever show up at my very, very best, but I think honestly you guys kind of like it that way. Um, I think my beauty pageant persona that a lot of you've seen on Facebook or on any other social media sites or just the idea of being an image consultant and and all that I think I think people like to see me real and raw and as many of you know physical fitness and, and honoring my body and getting my workouts in are super super important and I've just had like this amazing week I literally have broken broken a board with my bare hands I went rock climbing which if any of you who know me, I'm actually definitely afraid of heights. I, I like I, going up is no problem, but coming down, absolutely not. But I did it. I repelled down. And this morning, I went boxing. So I feel honestly like a badass. In fact, I feel so excited that um, and so proud of myself. I actually bought Wonder Woman. I bought a Wonder Woman uh, T-shirt because I just feel so stepped into my personal power. Um, a friend of mine, AJ, if you're listening, uh, my friend and coach, you know, he has been helping me work through some issues that I think a lot of business people, entrepreneurs especially, uh, struggle with and that's being stuck in your head with um, you know the doubt monster on, on uh, one shoulder and the insecurity monster on the other going, oh my gosh, when's my next client coming? Am I valuable? Am I offering good service? Um, gosh, what am I doing? You know, just, I think we've all been there where we, where we wonder, am I living my purpose? And when you are reacting out of self-doubt or desperation or, uh, as AJ put it, scarcity, um, clients aren't going to come, <laughs> you know, and there was proof in the pudding because in July when I kind of went off the grid and took some time off, I actually had the most abundant month ever because I stopped worrying about it and I got out of my head. And lately I've been taking on these physical challenges to help me through that. And what I mean by that is if you, for example, think about breaking a board with your bare hand and all you do is think about how am I going to break the board? How am I going to do it? Guess what? You're going to end up breaking your hand or hurting your hand instead of the board. But if you can get out of your head and just realize, you know what? You can do this. Guess what? I broke that board like a little twig and it's, it's on my Facebook page if you want to see that. Um, rock climbing, the same thing. When I started getting out of my head and stopped being in the moment of fear, fear of falling, fearing, fear of, oh my gosh, I'm not going to make it to the top. Guess what? I got to the top, made it all the way back down to the bottom, and it was an amazing experience. Boxing. What do I know about boxing? Went to a class today, and I knocked it out of the park. It was amazing. My arms are so sore. My body has just been physically annihilated, but I got out of my head. I finished an hour, an hour class and I actually boxed and it was this incredible experience and if we can learn to do that within our own businesses or, or whatever goals that we have and get out of here and start living in your heart and in your soul and with that gut instinct and for some of you analytics sometimes working in the mind is is a good place but for a lot of us it's getting out of here and just realizing our own value, stepping into our personal power, and when we walk into the room, we own it and we know that we're valuable and that we have this amazing service offering that we have that will help someone, that will serve someone, and guess what? We make a profit and, and we make a living doing it, and it's so fulfilling. But if you stay all wrapped up in here thinking, how am I going to do that, or am I going to connect with the right person, or this self-doubt, um, it doesn't come together. You have to, you have to get out of your head. You have to live in a space that you know how valuable and amazing you absolutely are. And if you're struggling with confidence or your networking skills or your image or your bookkeeping or whatever it is, then reach out to a professional that can help you. I mean, I'm a huge proponent on, on hiring or getting help from experienced people that can get you where you need to go. Um, obviously, I work with image and 
when my clients come to me, they're like, you know what, that's, that's where I feel like I'm struggling. That's where I'm not sure how to put it all together. And I give them all those tools to put in their toolbox. So then it becomes easy. Um, I'm ter I'm not the best writer, right? So I hire a copywriter to help me so that whatever's going on in my brain and in my heart that I want to put on paper, she she helps me do that and, and it sounds amazing and it's all me because I'm giving her the content, but she's just making it look and sound pretty. So don't be afraid to reach out to a professional that um, can help you get where you want. But I just, I really wanted to touch base with you because I've had this just incredible physical experience with, like I said, breaking a board with my bare hands, rock climbing, and now today boxing. And what it did for me was it just gave me the confidence of like, I, I can do anything. I, I, I'm training and I know, I know my skills. So why would I have any doubt on how I could be of service to people? I mean, I broke a board with my bare hands. I don't know anything about that. I certainly don't know how to box and rock climbing scared the bejesus out of me. And yet I did all three in the last week and a half. So step out of your head, live from your heart, think from your gut and know how valuable and amazing you are in your business. And if you need help, of course, reach out to that professional that can help guide you where you need to go. But don't live in fear, don't live in scarcity, don't live in self-doubt. Live in confidence and get out of your head. Anyway, this is Tara with the Style Signature. I would love for you to respond on this video and tell me what's holding you back, what's keeping you in your head. And um, I just hope you have a really amazing day. Stay stylish.